Big Shots. An important, influential person. Nicole Kidman is not only one of the best actresses of her generation, she also has the respect in Hollywood that allows her to venture into independent films without it hurting her image or pull with casting directors. This Big Shot's career has soared since her divorce from Tom Cruise in 2001. Her movies became blockbusters and she started winning awards and is now one of the highest paid actresses on the planet with her pick of film roles. In 1989, she appeared in the thriller Dead Calm as the wife of a naval officer held captive on a yacht. It fared well at the box office before Nicole starred with husband Tom Cruise in Ron Howard's 1992 film Far and Away. The movie was not well received by audiences but made a total of over 59 million US dollars. In 1995, Nicole was cast in Batman Forever, with the film taking over 184 million US dollars, making it the third highest grossing Batman movie as of 2005. Insightful. I'm flattered. Not every girl makes a superhero's night table. In Baz Luhrmann's blockbuster Moulin Rouge, Nicole was cast as Satine, a singing and dancing courtesan who falls in love with a penniless writer. The film was an instant success, earning over 57 million US dollars. But my dear, I've arranged a magnificent supper for us in Gothic Tower. The musical earned Nicole her first Academy Award nomination and a Golden Globe for Best Actress. The film also won the coveted Best Picture trophy. <laughs> 2001 saw Nicole in the thriller The Others as a high-strung mother living in isolation during World War I. The film was well received and went on to make over 96 million US dollars at the box office. Birthday Girl, in which Nicole was cast as a Russian mail-order bride, was screened at film festivals in Venice, London and Toronto to great acclaim. She won critical praise for her portrayal of Virginia Woolf in The Hours, in which the prosthetics applied to her made her almost unrecognisable. The film took over 41 million at the box office and her amazing performance resulted in an Academy Award for Best Actress. I mean, people ask you about it and you hope for um, nominations because it does, um, you know, it garners a lot of attention for the film and you want people to go and see the film and it's something that we're both very proud of. Nicole co-starred with Anthony Hopkins in the film adaptation of Philip Roth's novel, The Human Stain, which was panned by both audiences and critics. You were right. What happened to me is nothing. She moved on to the more critically acclaimed Cold Mountain, a love story of two Southerners separated by the Civil War that also garnered her a Golden Globe nomination. I despise this log and rooster. The film struck a chord with audiences all over the world and made over 95 million US dollars at the cinemas. Let's put him in a pot. Teaming up with Sean Penn in 2005, Nicole starred in The Interpreter as an African-born UN translator. Here at the UN. It took over 72 million US dollars at cinemas and was a favorite with critics. You think you could identify the voice you heard if you heard it again? But yes. Nicole's talents are not confined strictly to acting. Her collaboration with Ewan McGregor on the song Come What May from the Moulin Rouge soundtrack debuted at 27 in the UK singles chart. Later, she teamed with Robbie Williams on the song Something Stupid. One of Hollywood's favourite leading ladies, this big shot has built her reputation on taking risky roles and accepting smaller fees just for the chance to continue challenging herself. But that doesn't mean she can't command $20 million of film when she wants to.